AA, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. As uh, you probably know by now, if you've been looking at my videos, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Put the little hand up going, hi, hey. <laughs> anyway, and leave a message at the bottom, you know, type, type, type. And give me your point of view. I might not be right and I might not be wrong, but let me think, um, let me hear what you have to say. And I'm not talking about going to be up there cussing and whatever. There's a lot of fools out there that do that from what I hear so far. I haven't got anybody that got any balls to say anything, which is okay. That's fine. Um, but if there's a topic you'd like to talk about or think about or whatever, let me know. Leave me a message. Or if you like what I talked about, you, you feel the same way, leave a message. Say, that's exactly how I feel. You know what I mean? Anyway, today I'm going to talk about, you're going to say, no, not Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee. The reason I'm talking about it is because I just recently unsubscribed. Reason? Um, they decided to do what they've been doing with everybody else, except for it was themselves. And they didn't, how do you say, politically correct themselves. Actually, they did, but they didn't. They went on and they asked all these questions. I probably should have watched it again before I did this, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to watch them anymore. Um, they opened their mouth and I just sort of like, are you kidding me? They said that they had a lot of episodes about being in the gay community, you know, that, um, transgender, gay, lesbian, well, all that other stuff. And to be honest, I've never saw it. I saw one thing about being gay. That was it. You know, gay and lesbian. One. And there was one person that, from the group that was one of those that every 15 minutes they change who they are. Which I don't have a problem with that. You be who you are. Just don't expect me to know. Unless you tell me. That's the thing I don't understand. These people are there going. Oh, these people don't understand me. Well of course we don't understand you. Because every 15 minutes you're something else. It's like changing your shirt. I'm sorry. I'm gay. Period. That's it. I don't want to be considered anything but gay i'm not going to say i'm straight because i don't want to have sex with women sorry that's just the way it is i'm not going to say i didn't try to be i thought god didn't i was one of those idiots that thought god was against us and all that kind of stuff but then the difference between me and all those other people is i kept listening to god his book, not the people standing out there going, blah, 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 blah. And something didn't sound right. It's like my friends hear somebody saying that I said something and they'll listen to the person and they'll say, no, Manuel didn't say that. Oh, yeah. Well, who did he tell that to? Did he tell it to you? Well, no. Sarah said, and Kevin said, and blah, blah, blah. It just came down the line. Well, guess what? I don't know if you've ever played that game or whatever. If one person says it here and they pass it down the way, it always ends up something at the, different at the end. It's just the way it is. And I usually don't say anything that I can't say to the face of the person I said it. And I probably have said it. 
I'm not a backstabber. I don't do those things. I don't play games. That's not my thing. I'm never trying to make myself look better and all that stuff. It's just not me. I don't care what other people think. I'll hear, and I really don't want you to think bad of me. But to be honest, I'm going to be honest to you. I I have a, a way of thinking that's different than most. If I find out your husband is cheating on you, I'm going to tell you. Why am I going to tell you? Because now you got to make a decision. Do I want to get all the diseases that he's getting from all those whores he's having sex with? Or do I want to get rid of or stay with him and, and shut the hell up? See, that's your choice. I don't want to take it away from you. And I don't want later on me thinking, oh my God, if I had only told her she wouldn't have syphilis or gonorrhea or AIDS. It's that simple. I don't want to be part of the reason why you got a disease. So I see something wrong. I tell you, even if I hate your guts, I tell you. Why? Because I don't want it in my soul. It's raining here. And I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Anyway, that's my point. I will tell a fool. And then the fool has the choices. You're not making a good choice if you don't have all the information. Well, guess what? Now you do. Now it's all up to you. The weight's on your shoulders. So if you stay with him, that's your choice. If you don't stay with him, that's also your choice. Me? There is no choice. You're gone. I make it very, very clear. Catch you playing games. You played your game. You played your ass into the street. You're gone. That's who I am. I don't play games. I'm honest at the beginning. You get one chance with me. You fuck it up. You're gone. It's that simple. I'm not going to be there. Please stay with me. <laughs> no. And don't cry and whatever because you're gone. You shouldn't have played games with my life. Because that's your life. You have to remember that. Those diseases, a lot of them, will kill you. But that's the, beside the point. Jubilee and them were there talking and saying, um, we're trying to give a good representative of, no, you're not. They even proved they weren't. They don't get people there. And I'm sorry, I've never seen anybody get angry. They're so boring. I'm sorry, if you go over and you say something so stupid, like those people are saying, that were representing Hispanics, I'm going to say something. I'm not going to sit there like this. Like, that's all these people did. They sat there and listened to the stupidity that came out of their mouths. You must be Republican because you're stupid. That's what I said about that. And he sort of said, well, they're coming and they're taking our jobs. What jobs? Do you want to pick onions? Do you want to go work in a field as a farm picker? Do you want to go and work in a grove taking down apples, oranges, grapefruits? Do you want to clean toilets? Do you want... To scrub floors? Do you want to be a janitor? Do you want, you went through all that college to go and unload trucks? Get a clue. Actually, I, I don't mind unloading trucks. I did that. Why? Because I'm a, my major is fashion design and fashion merchandising. And I unload the trucks to put the products onto the floor so we could sell to people. 
That's the point. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with cleaning toilets and everything. I'm not going to do it. But the reality is there's nothing wrong with it. But the point is, is I did not go to college to clean toilets. I did not go to college to clean floors. That's the reality. And there's are the jobs those two assholes are saying we're trying to save. They're not trying to save all those other ones. Why? Because they're letting all the other countries come and get the jobs you're going to college for. You went to college to be a dancer. Guess what? You're not getting those jobs because everybody from the country, other countries are coming to take your job. They're in line with you for your job that you went to college for. You went to college to work on computers. People from Japan, China are coming to get those jobs. You went to college to go over and sing. You wasted all that money because guess what? All the singers now are coming from Ca from Canada, from England, from Japan, China. Do you see the trend yet? If you don't, I can keep on going. You went to college for acting. You spent a lot of money. It's going to take you years. You probably will never finish paying those bills. And all your actors, your comedians, your everybody are coming from Canada, other countries. We have a movie called The Walking Dead. It's a TV show and a movie. All the characters are from Canada, California, I mean, not California, from England. They're all from England and they're faking the accents that they live here. We have a show called America's Got Talent and a Japanese person, not an American, a Japanese from Japan came and won. And we should be angry. We should be talking about it. I'm not saying we should be stabbing people, shooting people, none of that. But talking can clear the problem. I don't need those people to come and take my job and be like I'm from South Park. They took my job. They took my job. The problem is, is that I need to go get a job that I want to do. I need it to be available for me. But I'm not worried about the people from Mexico because I am not cleaning no toilets. I'm not going to be mopping floors. I'm not going to be emptying your garbage. I'm not going to be cleaning your bathrooms. I'm not going to be picking your crops. I am not going to be picking the fruit off trees. Those are not the jobs I'm looking for. I'm not applying for those. And if you're stupid, you keep thinking they're coming and taking those other jobs. Guess what? You know why they're Hispanic names doing all the upper names? Because half of this country was part of Mexico. They didn't push the Mexicans off the land. They went and redrew the line and say, this is now how America is shaped. And the people who took the land, which they said they paid for, bullshit. Put the people that owned the property as slaves to work on their own property that, that's been in their family for thousands of years. So give me no bullshit. But guess what? We're not there telling everybody that story. You don't hear that storyline as part of our storyline. Why? Because we don't care. We're trying to move beyond that. 
So when you open your mouth and say Mexico and all that bullshit to me, guess what? I'll help you pick your teeth up afterwards. But guess what? I was born here. I've always been an American citizen. I'm an American first with a Mexican and Spaniard background. But understand, I'm an American first. The president we got, I don't pay attention to him. Why? Because he's our president. And I didn't vote for him. You women did. He puts you down left and right, but oh, you voted for him. So let's go beyond this storyline. The point is, is that we should have, they should be talking about that. They don't. They should cover those questions about that to the Republican women to see what they think. They don't. That sort of comes up and they cut it off. That's why when they put themselves up there and they answered these questions and this little gay black man was there, oh, it doesn't have nothing to do with me. I just run away like a little bitch. I was like, oh, hell. What a good representative you are of minority. So if it doesn't have anything to do with gay or black, guess what? Your little black ass is out of the way. Uh-huh. No, what you should be doing is making sure there's a good representative in the Japanese world when you have Japanese talking in the Chinese world, when you have Chinese talking in the Hispanic world, the white world, do you get the Indian world? All those different characters, you should make sure that there is a gay, lesbian, transgender, all of those different ones. A good representative of each group saying that I'm straight. I'm a straight woman. I'm a straight man. I'm a gay man. I'm a lesbian man. I am a transgender person. You should have one of each at least so that they of that one line Black, Hispanic, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, anyone, Irish, has a representative there that can talk. But they don't do that. I see it all the time. Instead, you got that one. There's always, like in the Hispanic, the Hispanic who hates Hispanic. You do always have that. You had the black who hates blacks. You had the black, the white who hates whites. You had the Chinese who hates Chinese. You had the Hispanic who hates Hispanic. You had the Japanese who hate Japanese. On and on and on. I located that person, but no, Jubilee says, oh, we, blah, blah, blah. we have a respect. No, you don't do it though. That's my point. And nobody there stood up for anything. The only one that they had was the white. And then I think later on, I think it was maybe the Korean had a, a one that a really good conversation. That's my point. It should be a good conversation. Somebody should be saying something. But the gay one, oh my God, it was so stupid. There, You didn't have nobody that stood up for anything. They were just there... Oh, I think it was a... Excuse me, but did you, would you choose to be gay? No. There's very, very, very few people that would choose to be gay. I didn't choose this. The Lord did. 
And it's that simple. Whether you like it or not, you'll have to wait until you meet the Lord and good luck. Because they say, oh, when you get up there, you're still not going to understand his whatever. Well, I'm not looking to. The point is, is that when it goes to that point, it's over. But here, I need a show that has a representative for myself and asks these questions that are common sense. That show doesn't. It never has. It's most of it is that. And then they start talking about people threatening to kill and everything. And I didn't, I, I thought about it and I said, why? Then I guessed they finally did say where it is. It's that stupid little show they do. They put vegetarians and one of them isn't a vegetarian. And then they put a whole bunch of people who like Beyonce. I don't get that thing with Beyonce, but. I wouldn't have been on there. And one of these people don't like Beyonce. And then they put the whole thing with what's her name and her big ass. And all those like her. And one of them didn't. And they started getting all these threats and everything like that. I mean, of course you're going to get that. Because that show is fixed. You say it's not, but guess what? It looked fixed, and I don't watch that show because of that. I saw one, and at the end, you get money. When there's money, there's always going to be trouble, and that's the game. That's where you messed up, but whatever. That's not my problem, but other than that, I stopped. I, I heard these people talk. You can watch it. Find Jubilee and watch. They have two of them. Watch the newest one where all of those people talk and they were saying, oh, you got lots of pressure for what? You don't have any hard slinging, hard pounding shows like Cut. Cut at least doesn't care what people think. Well, you said you didn't care either. You don't even read. So no wonder I don't get any messages about, well, we think blah, 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 or like that, just like you people. I don't get any message. I don't get anybody's opinion. Why? Because nobody's reading them. I, I'm not getting them. So I'm not reading them either because there's nothing to read. Uh, actually, I got a couple and I read those and I said, thank you. They liked what my con my talk was about because I was being honest how I felt. But that's the reality. I'm not looking to make trouble or whatever, but I'm I'm going to be honest. That's who I am. The world is so full of liars. It's sort of rare to get somebody that's going to be honest. And I'm going to be honest. You don't like it? There's a hundred of other channels that can lie to you. Like um, you can watch that mojo or whatever. Mrs. Mojo or Mrs. Whatever. And she always gives you a list and it's always wrong. <laughs> Wherever you'll find something she said it was wrong. And are, are a lot of them that are wrong. It's just the way it is. I wish it was correct. I, I wish they would check their facts, but they're wrong. You go down the list. Wrong, 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 wrong. But whatever. That's not my business. I don't work for them. They probably are from the Democrats because they're a bunch of idiots over there. They should all quit. And don't put a woman there. You women don't want a woman as a president. You had your chance. You didn't vote for her. It was all on you because let's put it, be honest. Like you're always saying to every one man, there's five, count them, five women so that means one of you knock him out of the list and the four of you are the real votes give me a break and another thing we have to get rid of is that stupid stupid when we vote for the president and we vote for one number to get added to the group to vote 
what it is is, guess what? They're supposed to vote Democrat, but they can still vote Republican. Your vote's supposed to be a, re a Democrat vote, but they don't have to. So you still can lose. And that's my point. We have to, my vote has to be the real vote, not me voting for another person to vote. But anyway, that Jubilee stuff just annoys the hell out of me. I'm not watching it anymore. You won't hear me talking about Jubilee anymore unless you go and watch my older stuff, which the, actually I think they're pretty good. But let's just put it this way. At least they're honest. <laughs> I'm being like the Republicans. At least he's honest. Well, I'm being honest too. But whatever. But remember, subscribe to my channel, put the hand up, write a little message, and AA, see you in church.